Hello. Happy Sunday. Been crafting away today, making library pockets with journaling cards. I've been working at it for about an hour and I have 12 cards made. They're going to come in very handy for my junk journals. I'm going to show you how I did that. We're going to use our, I use a scoreboard and I have a piece of four and a half by six and a half inch cardstock. I put it in at the top of the scoreboard at four and a half. I'm going to score at four inches at half an inch. I'm going to rotate it 90 degrees and I'm going to score at three and a half. I'm going to cut off the these two sides here and I want the score marks cut off. Cut up to that score mark and angle it over and repeat on this side cut that off and angle it over this is going to be the top of my little pocket and what I want to do is find my center I make a little mark I'm using a Tim Holtz centering ruler and now I'm going to use my We Are Memory Keepers thumb notch. You could use a circle punch also. And I'm just going to line that up. Now I have a thumb notch. I'm going to fold on our score marks and burnish. looks like that. I want to round these two corners here. So I'm going to use my We Are Memory Keepers Cropodial at the half inch side and just punch those two corners. There and it's going to look like that. But let's do some aging. I like to use my Distress Ink by Ranger with a, a little tool. And of course you can use any color you'd like. This one happens to be Vintage Photo Distress Oxide Ink. And you can do as much or as little. Sometimes I really go for a really grungy look. I've tried it with black also and that that looks nice as well. Works great for steampunk. Here we go. Let's get a little bit more here on the top. There we go. Now we're going to glue it together. So I'm going to use my art glitter glue and just put some on each of those tabs. Put the pin back in so it doesn't get clogged up. Just fold that up and bring these over. And then I use my Teflon bone folder again just to press it in nice and tight. There we go. Now let's decorate it. Um, I've got some book page paper. Um, this happens to be in Norwegian where my family is from. And let's 
let's rip a little bit off. There we go. Age the sides just a touch. Okay, we got we want some more layering, don't we? I've got some music paper from a hymnal. That might be nice. It's it's a pretty old one. The paper is pretty weak. But let's see what we can do. There we go. Well, what else should we put on there? We let's put some. We have some lace. Okay, and then how about let's make a slide? And I just have these slides that I picked up at an estate sale, and so I just want to remove this film, and. I just push it right out of there. And then I use my distress tool again. This is a cardboard one, Kodak. I'm going to use the blank side. Get it aged pretty good there, right? And if it gets to be a little bit too much, I just use a magic rub eraser and just go over it a little bit. Just as a little, you know, lightens it up. There we go. Now I need a picture to put in it. So I have printed a contact sheet of our family photos. Here we go. How about I'm going to use my um, grandmother and grandfather's wedding picture. They were married on April 2nd of 1919. That one will work. And we're just going to place that right over the top there. It'll work. It'll fit. Let's trim off some of this there. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to flip this over. Use my art glitter glue again. I like this because it has such a fine tip and I don't get an excess glue and it doesn't ooze all over everything and saturate the paper. So now I'm going to flip it over and frame my photo. Sorry if I got my head in the way there. There we go. Olaf and Matilda didn't look any better, did they? So now, let's finalize our collaging. Put our lace here. Hmm. Okay, let's glue down the music paper. Give it a little bit of color. Not too much. And this is such a thin, fine paper that I don't want to saturate it at all. I'm going to use my Fabri-Tac. Ok, 
Okay, and then I use my bone folder and push the glue so I don't get any ridges. And let's glue this down as well. Then I'm going to use my trusty bone folder again. That's not going anywhere, is it? Okay. A little piece of lace. I'm going to put a little bit, let's find the right side. Here we go. This side up, so let's flip it over. And let's put a little bit of Fabri-Tac. I find that Fabri-Tac works the best for gluing fabrics to papers or gluing fabrics to anything. But I just want to put just little bits of glue where the lace is thicker or more dense. The threads are more dense. There we go. Let's place that on there. We use a delicate touch there. We don't want the glue to come oozing through the top of the lace. Okay, and here we have our photo, or our little slide. Let and because we have fabric again, let's use our fabric tack to apply glue to this. cover on it. Here we go. Let's blitz it up a little bit. Or glitz it up, I guess. going to use that little scrap of paper cardstock that we cut off the edge using my glossy accents and I like to just put a little bit on the cardboard because my pearls are so small. Use my tweezer and just dip it in there. I think I'll put three of them on. That works. Now I'm going to use another one of those cardstock pieces and just gently lift up some of that glossy accents that oozed out from the bottom of the pearls. There we go. Let's put a couple more on. Mm 